Hey guys, welcome back to another review brought to you by Orms TV. Now today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm not gonna give you a strictly camera or lens review like what we've done in the past. And instead, I've brought along the all new DJI Phantom 4 um, drone, just to give you a little, a little feel of that. Now, today we've come to the beautiful Hillcrest Wine Estate. Um, Hillcrest is a boutique olive and wine estate here in the Durbanville Hills area. Um, they do some fantastic wines, have a beautiful restaurant, um, and just a lovely venue all in all. So we've come down into what Hillcrest calls the quarry. Now the quarry is a little um, like concert venue and um, events venue that they have on the estate here. And we're gonna set up the drone, fly it, and uh, yeah, just uh, see what footage we can get. that's it now this is probably a good time for me to make a little confession um, so you just saw me unpack the drone put the propellers on put the unit down there um, that's literally the first time that I've ever touched the Phantom 4 um, I have literally no drone experience at all the reason why I wanted to do it like this was you know, to give you guys an idea of exactly how easy or not easy it is to fly one of these things. Um, DJI claims that this is the easiest drone that they've ever made to fly um, and something easy for newcomers to get into. Um, and I really wanted to test that out. So I just want to give you a quick rundown of the specs on this thing. On the unit itself, um, 4K capable video camera on the front. Um, that's still very much the same as what you got on the Phantom 3. Um, it's still the same sensor setup in there. What they did was they reworked the lens a little bit um, so you get better contrast, a little bit better color um, and less aberration um, and distortion through it. The unit itself has these new um, sensors that are installed on the front here. Looks like little holes in it. Now this technology came out of one of DJI's bigger drones the Matrice and what this does is it allows the drone to do obstacle avoidance um, so in theory if you fly towards something and it senses that it's going to crash into it it'll actually stop the drone um, now this only works in forward direction you can't go side to side and expect it to stop you or backwards but we'll test it out we're going to fly towards something solid and see what happens hopefully it works um, it's got new uh, motors on it, so the motors are stronger, allows the drone to be faster, but more specifically allows it to be more stable when you're flying in high winds um, and for you to be more accurate when controlling it. It's got a new battery, um, which is quite nice, it's quite a bit of a bigger battery than what was on the Phantom 3. Um, DJI claims you'll get up to 25 minutes fly time with this, we're going to test that out, see how true that is. Everything else is still very similar and if you've had a Phantom 2 or a Phantom 3 you should be quite familiar with this. So what I'm going to do is we're going to set it up real quick um, and I'm going to try and fly it and uh, let's see what happens. So I have my phone connected here. Your phone connects to the controller. Um, the controller then connects to the drone. The drone will feed its point of view footage straight to your phone. So you can get a live view feed of where you're flying, what the drone is busy recording. I've got the DJI Go app installed. Now the Go app allows you to control a lot of functions of the drone directly from your phone. Um, it'll allow you to do things like automatically take off and land, set waypoints for the drone to follow. Um, on the Phantom 4 now, you can also select an object or a person for um, the drone to essentially then follow. So it'll follow a moving object. So in addition to never having flown the drone itself, I've also never used the DJI GO app. Um, so you're supposed to be able to automatically take off and land. So I'm going to try that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start recording on the device itself. Okay, we are recording. So we've got control over the camera. Camera control is on the left toggle switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt the camera down. Okay, tilt the camera back to its level again. And let's see if we can take this for a little fly. Let's try the controls. So first on the right stick. Okay, right stick is left and right movement and I'm assuming forwards and backwards. Yes. Left 
stick up and down and swivel. Now, I should say that we are in um, sort of the safe mode. Um, it's like all the controls are in place, all the safety measures are in place. Um, the drone has got other modes, so like a sports mode um, and an advanced mode where more of the, um, the automated um, sort of safety features are turned off. Um, but I'm gonna stick to the safe mode for now as this is how most people would start it up um, in the first time. Now, the little battery indicator is reading that we've got 29 minutes of flight time left. Um, yeah, let's have a look. So we're flying quite gentle. You can see the footage is very, very smooth. So we're out over the water. Um, let's do a little swivel. So the drone is amazingly stable. I never thought that it would be this stable. Um, for a first flight, I am, I am well impressed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly the unit back home. I'm gonna point the camera down slightly. Okay, so I'm just leveling the camera out again, pointing back in our starting direction. Okay, so it's pretty much right overhead. But the unit has a auto land function. So I'm gonna test that out um, just to see what it does. Um, so let's pre press land. So again, aircraft will land at its current location. Ensure that the landing area is clear first. Looks pretty clear to me, swipe to land. And the drone descends and lands and switches off. Okay, so that was my first flight. Um, if the smile on my face isn't giving it away, that was freaking amazing. Um, super, super easy to fly. Um, I think it's time to, um, to get a bit more daring. Um, what I'm gonna do is we're, we're still in the quarry here. So I'm gonna take the drone off again, tilt the camera into the downwards position and just shoot it up um, and see how high it'll go. It should limit us to, I think 120 meters because we are in the safe mode. Um, but yeah, let's see what we get. Let's go up. So at 120, it's giving me a warning that we've reached maximum altitude. Now, this is not maximum altitude for the drone itself. Um, this is maximum altitude in South Africa that you're legally allowed to fly above ground level, you know, due to the Civil Aviation Board rulings and that kind of thing. Um, I won't get into too much detail about that, but there are some legalities around flying these drones. So right now we're 120 meters up. We're looking down into the quarry at Hillcrest. Um, getting some beautiful, beautiful footage. So there you see Hillcrest's restaurant, their tasting rooms and all of their offices. 120 meters in the air, perfectly stable, absolutely incredible. So obviously when you're this far up with an ultra wide angle lens like this is, um, big movements up in the sky isn't gonna have a massive effect on your video. So you can be incredibly precise and incredibly stable while flying. So we're descending. So that's brought us down. Gonna bring the camera up. I hope you guys can still hear me over the drone here. But we literally just dropped it down from 120 meters, dropped it straight into the quarry. No hassle whatsoever. The drone is performing magnificently. I'm gonna use the auto land feature again. So press it on the screen and swipe to land. And that's it, easy as can be. So DJI's biggest claim regarding this drone is its ability to use its forward facing sensors to avoid crashing into things, literally. Um, now in the Phantom 3, as with the Phantom 4 here, you have downward facing sensors. That allows the unit to land um, and maintain its position when it doesn't have perfect GPS lock. Um, but the forward facing sensors is a new thing. And in terms of their commercially available drones, the Phantom 4 is currently the only unit that has that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna fly it at a solid object. Um, hopefully it stops. Fly it in. 
four meters away, three meters away. And at two and a half meters away, it will not allow me to go closer. That is absolutely magnificent. The drone is also giving me its first low battery warning. Three minutes of flight time left. Okay, so it actually tells me that it's gonna go back to the home point in exactly 10 seconds. It's descending very slowly, but the drone is landing itself and it landed itself perfectly. Okay, that's quite fantastic actually. Um, so we were about to run out of battery power and through no action of my own, the drone warned me of that and it actually said um, that it's going to return home in 10 seconds. Um, but what it did was when it initiated its um, home sequence, it shot up in the air a couple of meters it flew to where um, you took off from, which is obviously a safe point, um, and that's quite fantastic. And it just landed itself. Um, I'm impressed. That is pretty fantastic. Um, I can't imagine anything being safer than that. This thing is amazing. I'm loving it. Okay, so I just did a battery change, um, and we got out of the quarry at Hillcrest. What we're going to do is essentially I'm going to take it up and I'm just going to try and get some nice aerial shots. I'm going to sort of fly around the estate and just uh, see what I can get. Um, so let's have a look. Well guys, that just about wraps up our review of the DJI Phantom 4 drone here. Um, I know that I didn't run through all the hardcore technical specs, um, but we have put a link in the description below. It'll link you straight to the OMS website and you can see all the technical specifications there. Um, what I really wanted to see today is whether this is a usable drone for a complete novice. And as a complete novice, yes, great unit. Um, footage is fantastic out of it, the video quality, the 4K, just mind-blowing. Even if you pull stills from it, just absolutely excellent. It's easy to fly, it is amazingly stable. The new safety features that they put in here with the forward-facing sensors is fantastic. Um, it saved my bum in the vineyard down there when I was trying to be cool and fly in between, um, which didn't go so well. Um, you know, just in testing, it performed excellently. Um, so, yeah, I mean, nothing more to say. Just a fantastic, solid little product. Um, and I just want to thank Hillcrest Estate again for allowing us to use their beautiful venue. As always, at the end of these videos, don't forget to like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this, um, and check out some of our other reviews. Um, they're pretty decent. Um, I'm signing off now. I'm going to enjoy this glass of Sauvignon Blanc from Hillcrest. By the way, pretty good. You know, if you want to try a nice uh, wine to relax you on a hot day like this, yep, can't do much better.